okay that I have a woman left and right? Yes, good morning. Good mor morning, everybody. We have our um, three monthly uh, routine meeting on the Middle East, and um, Germany has thought that we have to try and leave a bit the normal rituals of, of these debates and bring something into the Council which unites um, the parties and brings a positive message. So we ha are very proud today to have the representatives from um, the Palestinians, from Jordanians and from the Israelis here that formed together an organization called ECOPEACE and they work together in a fantastic way and they will explain that to you on one of the gravest challenges that we are um, encountering not only in um, in our regions here but in particular in the Middle East and that is the ecosystem, the scarcity of water, the effects of climate change and we have a wonderful cooperation uh, between the three um, and um, we want to highlight that in the Security Council today also to bring a new spirit to it. But I would like them to introduce themselves and what they are doing and if it's okay I start on my no, on in the middle. I start okay. with Jordan, that is in middle, a bit in the, in the middle of the two, and exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Yana Abu Talib. I am the Jordanian co-director of Eco Peace Middle East. Um, I can say we're a very unique organization, the only organization in our part of the world in our part of the world that brings together Jordanian, Israeli, Palestinian uh, environmentalists with one shared vision is to protect our shared environment more focused on our scarce water resources we um, and through focusing on the shared water resources our aim is to build trust uh, between our people and build that peace peace that exists among people, not only the political peace. So um, we will together work towards peace building uh, for a better future for all our people focused on uh, protecting our shared uh, water resources. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Nada Majdalani, uh, Palestinian co-director of Eco Peace Middle East. Um, from where I come from, uh, political realities are very difficult. Everyone knows about the, and hears the, the negative news uh, about the uh, military occupation in the West Bank, the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip, um, the, uh, the lack of opportunities and access to basic needs. Um, we are here to, to shed the light that there's no winners or losers uh, in the face of, of climate change. Um, the, the current mechanisms for water distribution and uh, transboundary wastewater management is not the best case for our today's needs for sustainable development, neither for Palestinians nor for the Israelis. And therefore, reaching grounds on um, a fair share of reallocation of water resources between all three countries is, is a must. Uh, changing current mechanisms that are unfair is a must. And this is where we're all together here working on critical issues to face climate change. We come here with a positive and strong message. We come with ideas and creative uh, concepts uh, that would be game changer for our region. It will turn our region from a region of despair and, uh, and, and uh, dis and uh, disparity into uh, a region of hope and peace in the framework of a two-state solution uh, on 1967 borders with, um, and in the framework of international resolutions taken by the same very room that we're going to enter and speak in. Thank you very much for having us today. It's a great honor um, and it's a great uh, part of the history of this organization and I'm very proud along our colleagues here. Thank you so much. Good morning. So the concepts that were uh, in place when uh, the Oslo Accords were negotiated were concepts relating to water being finite. That there was only natural water and therefore it's no surprise that we were fighting over every drop. Today that's no longer the case. Technology has advanced us forward 
so that today we can manufacture water. In fact, Israel is a world leader in manufacturing water, desalination, treating wastewater. The pie has grown, and the grounds that placed water as a final status issue are no longer in place. And therefore, our call before the Security Council, before our respective governments and the international community, it's time to take water out and move it forward. Water cannot remain hostage to the failure to agree on other issues. Not that we don't want to see all other issues solved. We do. But the fact that we don't solve those issues tomorrow morning um, doesn't mean that we don't move forward on water. And the failure to move forward, or forward on water is at the peril of all three of our peoples. And the, the, the mentioning of Gaza is a classic important case because the likelihood of pandemic disease breaking out in Gaza, like we see the horrors of cholera in Yemen today, are eminent. And borders don't stop pollution, they don't stop pandemic disease. And therefore, it's, in the, the, it's at the stake of all of us, Palestinians, Jordanians, and Israelis together, to move forward, to bring some hope, to let the water flow so that we can bring hope, better lives for our respective peoples. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we'll bring this positive message into the Security Council. Thank you and see you later. Yes. Climate security. Yes. 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 Yes